our sisters should guard themselves and control themselves and understand that they are the flowers of Islam. They are also the handmaidens of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are the front line. They are the front line of the home defense. As I joke sometimes and I tell brothers I have to go. The minister of the interior, she told me, be home, don't stay too long. Yes, it's true. The sisters have the right. Inside the home, they are in charge. Don't come home with your chest poked out. Where's the food? What's going on? Blah, blah. Go get this. Why you didn't? Be quiet. Leave the sister alone. Don't tell her what kind of curtains. Don't tell her what to do. Don't tell her what to fix. Don't tell her so she don't have to do nothing for you. Nothing. You, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ar-Rijal kawamuna ala nisa this don't mean that you are the commander of the women. No, you have responsibility to them. She don't even have to work. She don't have to lift a cup. She don't have to do any work. She don't have to, she don't have to clean your clothes. She don't have to iron your clothes. She don't have to wash no dishes. She don't have to cook no food for you. She don't have to do anything. This is not her job. If you want somebody to do that, go hire a servant. But if she does that, this would be a blessing for her in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you marry her, this don't mean you have a slave, you've got a servant. If she does it for you, this is a nafil for her. This is good for her. She should do that to want to serve her husband, to, to obtain his pleasure. Because the pleasure of the husband is next to what? The pleasure of Allah. The displeasure of the husband is next to the displeasure of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said that the husband that goes to sleep while he is displeased with her husband, what happens? The malaika curse her all of the night. So she should always want her husband to be pleased. And she does these things to please you. But it is not her obligation because of the marriage to iron your clothes, to wash your clothes, to fix your food, to sew your clothes. Because the Messenger of Allah ﷺ, what did he do? Did he do those things? Himself. To relieve her because he was grateful. So the man when he comes to the house, he should be grateful if his wife, she fixed the food for him, she cleaned the house for him. She's taking care of the children. She's taking care of herself. She's taking care of the house. She's taking care of your honor, your reputation. She's a home line defense. And this is not an easy job. So brothers, don't put more responsibility on her by your demands. And at the same token, be grateful from time to time. Give her relief. Buy her gifts. Say nice things to her. Compliment her. Show your gratitude towards her. Because she's also the mother of your children. And if she's not, if, she, if your wife is stressed out, if she's full of anxiety all the time and depressed, what do you think the children will be? They will be also stressed out and anxiety because she will pass it right down.